Just become aware of the rhythm in your body. This is called Bamba Boja. As the breath comes in and out, not doing, just being with what is. With deep gratitude, we turn our attention to the graciousness of the space holding the circle. From my perspective, spiritual activism is about blending the inner and the outer journey. And I personally believe that whether you have a faith tradition or not, you have an inner journey. And that inner journey is your hopes and your beliefs and your values and the passions that move you in the world. Finding a way to bring those values that are dear and deep in your heart out into your action in the world, the outer journey. What grounds us to make a more just world? What are our beliefs, our values, our inspirations about really creating and sustaining real change in this world? How will we know that what we're doing is in fact spiritual activism? How will it show up? How will we know if we're embodying it? How will it address the activist questions of today? What would it be like to be more inclusive and, and recognize the enlightened one in everyone from death row to the White House? How could we begin to craft how our sacred teachings, and I know they're different, but there's probably some strong intersection, how it could impact a larger political discourse? Are the languages of spiritual activism particular languages? or are they shared languages? How much of what we do is within a particular concrete tradition? How do we bring this teaching of there's not a separate self into our activism, you know, so that there's, there's not an enemy that we're fighting against, even though there are issues that we're working you know, very fiercely toward? that liberation and spirituality is taking action to liberate people really all over the world, um, not just from suffering, but specifically liberating them from oppression and taking action in a way that holds humanity at the center as what is most valuable, recognizing the wholeness of human beings um, in the attempt to end oppression in the world. It's about incorporating my spiritual practices, beliefs, and culture into the work that I do. So instead of coming from a place what is either anger or hate, I'll come out of a place of compassion. I'll come out of a place of love. I think a liberation spirituality is about accepting that we don't know all the answers, we don't know all the truths, we don't know all the outcomes, but that doesn't lead to paralysis. It doesn't lead to inaction. In fact, it maybe infuses our action with a humility or a questioning or a self-reflection, but finally it motivates us to act courageously and boldly to do our best to change the world and at the same time accept that we may not know exactly how to change it all the time.
Spiritual liberation is about staying grounded in a tradition that elevates the importance of your ancestors and um, recognizing that everybody has ancestors and that their ancestors are working through them in different ways. And sometimes that coming together of different ancestral energy is contentious. People are trying to figure out for themselves what does this mean for my ancestors to work through me, to speak through me, to have an expectation that I will live a life that has good character and that I would do the right thing. And then you encounter other folk who are struggling in the same way. So I think the way that spiritual liberation lives is that you provide the space for people to speak their truth. It was this bodhisattva. Named Harriet Tudman. I also received high marks on my studies of those that ate the meal, like Buddha, Gandhi, Moses, Christ, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon Mama, Moon, Sky, Teacher. We have a cosmic guide for this evening, Chalchuilique, the jade that skirts us. The Mother Earth is the lady, and with the jaded skirt, she represents all the terrestrial waters as well as tranquility. Given the commitment that almost everybody has to a spiritual path, that there are perhaps the greatest potential for people to achieve some shared understanding and uh, possibly a, a way forward that we need to get into the doing of the actual practice, how do we begin to broach some of these subjects? I want to imagine that ultimately we go beyond whatever our tradition and faith is, and then that we sort of reemerge to function within them, but that practicing deeply takes us beyond any of it. The era of going into the cave as your contribution is can't be. I mean, I don't want to say accept it, but it can't, can't be uh, the whole enchilada. This is not all about individual transformation and transcendence, but it is about responsible embracing of power, authority, and governance. I want to see us engage in the world engage with the issues of suffering, with the issues of racism, with the issues of gender, with the issues of homophobia, with the issues of exclusion and suffering. Um, and I think out of that can come both transcendence and liberation. The Greeks have a, a wonderful diagram two circles and the overlap in the circle is a diamond and that diamond they had a name for called the Majorca and that is the place where your inner journey and your outer journey overlap in harmony where your outer journey is infused with your inner values and your inner journey is enriched by the work you do in the world that I think is the sweet spot of spiritual activism <laughs> Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. 
Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God. Keep your gaze steady, my love. Yours are the eyes that have seen God.